All right, so in a recent video, I was asked to give a more detailed review about the DJI Phantom 3 drone. Um, so I thought today would be a good time just to show uh, some of the repairs that you have to make sometimes when you have these and also a replacement part that I highly recommend. Let's check it out. So the part we're gonna replace today is this back plate. And the reason why is this has crashed uh, a couple times now and this component here with this motor just keeps popping right off. So uh, the guys over at Killer RC, um, definite shout out to them, have developed a little piece called the uh, gimbal saver for the DJI Fan 3. Essentially what this does is it creates a little wraparound that goes around to the front of the gimbal and holds this in place so it won't fall off. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. All right, so once you have the old plastic plate off, you're going to see this board. Very carefully move that to the side. And a key I learned from another uh, YouTube video is this pin right here. Might be a little difficult to see, but the basically the axle that goes through the motor to the camera itself um, needs to be level. So there's a flat side and a round side. And so what you're gonna do is take your needle nose pliers and you're gonna straighten it out while you're holding it level. So what you do is you hold your camera as level as you can and you take a look at that pin. Um, the flat side should be level as well, or right now it's at an ankle, so I'm gonna use needle nose pliers to twist it uh, until it is in the right position. And you want to be careful of that board because the main way it's attached is through the very thin cable um, that comes with these. And this thing's very delicate. It can break pretty easily. So um, definitely be careful when you are doing any work around that cable. So I'm going to hold this still, check the pin. It looks pretty level. Um, so I'm going to put this back together. And then when I turn it on, I'll be able to see if the camera and the gimbal is held in the right position. I just wanted to point this out. Um, this is the original piece from DJI. And this is the piece from Killer RC. Now you're going to notice that both have the five holes uh, that attach it to the gimbal. But this one has a little piece that sticks out right here. That is where our gimbal saver attaches. So this is essentially gonna go here and that's gonna form a bracket that wraps around the gimbal and holds it into place. And since the video I saw showing me how to do this, it uh, looks like they have attached a little uh, piece of silicone here, I guess to make it a tighter fit. Um, so we're gonna see how, how well that works. Also the price on these has come down. Uh, these are $29.99 for this part and it's aluminum, which is a nice upgrade from plastic. Now save your plastic one because if you're still under warranty and you need to return this to DJI for any reason, you're gonna to wanna to take off the replacement piece and put the original back on. Another tip is before you put the screws back into the new piece, uh, you definitely gonna to wanna to add some Loctite blue onto the end of the screws. That's gonna help keep them in place. So if you have a future crash, uh, they're going to hold better, they're not going to get loose and fall out on you. So I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, Loctite on the screws and put them in. Now there's a lot of places you can buy this stuff. Um, I found that on Amazon, uh, I got a two pack for like $12. Uh, some places were asking um, quite a bit more for it. So definitely shop around before you buy any because they do seem to vary quite a bit in price. Uh, damn it. Okay, this stuff's less viscous than I thought. Okay, so yes, this is my first time using Loctite, in case you couldn't guess already. Uh, the stuff is way thinner than I thought. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on this piece of plastic here. Seal this, put it over there, and then uh, dip these in, and then put them into the drone. Here's the screwdriver. So just dip a little bit on the end there, and then put it in. So it's more obvious on the replacement part than the original. Uh, the bottom two screw heads are larger than the top three. So when you take it off of the original, make sure you keep those top three separated uh, from the bottom two. I have my bottom two uh, by my screwdrivers and the top three are over there. 
Now you don't want to tighten this all the way. I just put a single screw here and a screw there just to get it on because you still have to undo this, wrap it around, and attach it. And if that's tight, you're not gonna have the wiggle room you might need. Uh, so as you can see here, I now have the arm attached to the new piece. This is the side angle. And uh, that wraps around the bottom of the gimbal. So I'm gonna show you that. So see it wraps around here to the front. I'm gonna tighten this up now. And basically if this gets loose again, it's not gonna pop off of the main arm. What's great about this is uh, here is the new arm coming around and there is no interference at all with movement. So the gimbal can still move as it's supposed to. It is not gonna get in the way. Uh, it's just preventing this from popping off of the motor and falling off of the drone. Uh, last time I brought this into land, it fell off immediately and was just hanging by the cable here, which is definitely dangerous. So uh, I'm super excited to give this a, a try and uh, hopefully everything works out great. All right, now for the moment of truth. All right, it's not dancing so far. I don't have that gimbal overload issue. It should wiggle again. But as long as it doesn't start dancing on me, I should be good to go. All right, looks good. Um, so the pin rotation I showed you will fix the gimbal overload issue if you're having that, where the gimbal is just dancing and you can't figure out why. Um, so rotating that pin is what fixes that problem. You don't have to buy a whole new gimbal. You just gotta take out five screws and get some needle nose pliers. This piece I have added, the uh, gimbal saver for DJI Phantom 3 from the guys over at Killer RC, that is gonna keep it from uh, falling off, from breaking, it's gonna protect it. So um, I'm very excited and happy that this worked. I'm gonna go take this out and see if I can find some manatees in the water. <laughs> 